Today's paper is Swin Transformer, Hierarchical Vision Transformer using shifted windows. The paper proposes a new general purpose backbone train using a vision transformer model. The model uses a shifted window scheme, and using this technique, the limitation of vision transformer capturing large variations in the scale of visual entities and high resolutions of pixels in an image is solved. The idea of Swin Transformer is shown in the right figure. On the right is the original Vision Transformer, and we can see that the number of patches are kept the same throughout different layers. Instead of having the same number of patches in each layer, Swin Transformer starts from having small patches with many windows, and gradually combines neighboring patches as the model goes through deeper transformer layers. The complexity of the method is linear. This is different from previous VIT methods because previous methods have quadratic computational complexity because self-attention had to be applied globally to all the patches. It achieves good performance of 87.3% on ImageNet 1K classification task, 58.7 box average precision score on COCO detection task, and 53.5 mean IOU on ADE 20K dataset. The core idea of shifting window is shown in the left figure. The gray area is a patch, and the red outline indicates a window that groups neighboring patches. In the first layer, windows are of size 4x4, each window having 16 patches. Once self-attention is performed locally within each window, in the next layer, windows are shifted towards the bottom right direction, resulting to a new group of windows on the right. The linear computational complexity is achieved because self-attention is computed locally within non-overlapping windows that partition an image, meaning self-attention is performed locally in the red outlined region. Because the window size is fixed, the computational complexity is linear with respect to the image size. Now, this figure shows the architecture of the Swin transformer model. Input image is first partitioned into patches, and in the first stage, each patch is projected using a linear layer. Now, there are multiple stages, and each stage is composed of a patch merging layer followed by multiple blocks of Swin transformer block. The patch merging block is used to reduce the number of tokens as the network gets deeper. The first patch merging layer concatenates the features of each group of neighboring patches and applies a linear layer on the concatenated features. As it's shown in the figure, doing this reduces the number of tokens by a multiple of 4. We can see on the right the building blocks of the Swin transformer block. In general, it's similar to the block in transformers. The WMSA denotes a regular self-attention module, and the SWMSA denotes the attention layer with a shifted windows configuration. The shifting of the window is performed here in the SWMSA layer. The table shows the performance of various twin transformer models trained using ImageNet 1K and ImageNet 22K datasets. On the left shows the performance of the model trained using ImageNet 1K. Compared to the previous state-of-the-art transformer-based architectures like DEIT, Swin Transformer achieves higher accuracy. And when compared to the ConvNet-based architectures like RegNet and EfficientNet, when considering speed accuracy trade-off, the Swin Transformer achieves competitive results. And on the right is the result of the model trained using ImageNet 22K dataset. The performance here is significant. Swin B model obtains 86.4%, which is 2.4% higher than that of VIT model with similar inference throughput but with slightly higher flops. The best performance is achieved by the Swin L model, which has a top 1 accuracy of 87.3. Now, the architecture is also validated in the object detection domain. The table shows the use of Swin transformer model with HTC++. 
the swing L achieves highest score as shown in the bottommost row, the box average precision is 58% and even in the segmentation task the model achieves highest score. Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today and I'll see you next time with a new paper.